Something remarkable is happening in Malaysia. Tech giants are flocking to the country, setting up operations and bringing billions of dollars in investment. Intel and Infineon are each investing $7 billion in Malaysia, but these are just the beginning. Malaysia is seeing an influx of foreign investment from giants like Germany's Bosch, South Korea's Simtech, and major Chinese manufacturers. Business is booming, and the Malaysian government aims to leverage this momentum to move up the global value chain and become a high-tech economy similar to Japan, Taiwan, or South Korea. But this journey isn't without its challenges. Malaysia's strategic location places it right in the middle of the ongoing trade tensions between the United States and China. The pressure is immense, as the country needs at least $107 billion in investments to become the next global semiconductor hub. Failure to achieve this could leave Malaysia vulnerable to regional and global conflicts. The only way to avoid this fate is to build substantial economic strength at home. Malaysia is known for its stunning landscapes and rich biodiversity. It has long aspired to shift from low-end manufacturing to high-value industries. Similar to South Korea, Malaysia faced economic struggles in the 1960s, but rapid wage increases made their industries less competitive for cheap labor. This phenomenon, known as the middle-income trap, kept both nations from becoming truly wealthy. South Korea eventually broke free from this trap in 1985 through investments in innovation and productivity, achieving high income status. Malaysia, however, took a different path and remained trapped. Now Malaysia is looking to correct this course. As tensions rise between Beijing and Washington, tech giants are pursuing a China plus one strategy, expanding operations in surrounding economies. This strategy is driven by a race for dominance in artificial intelligence, advanced robotics, and green technology development a $617 billion global industry that's growing rapidly. Malaysia is uniquely positioned in this tech race with its strategic location, robust infrastructure, well-established semiconductor industry, and educated English-speaking workforce. Kuala Lumpur has an edge over regional competition to become the next global chip giant. Malaysia already holds a 13% global market share in the low-end field of assembly, testing, and packaging of semiconductors, contributing 25% to the country's GDP. To turn Malaysia into the next Taiwan, local firms like Silterra are leveraging the influx of foreign talent to expand into high-end activities such as wafer, fabrication and integrated circuit design. The Malaysian government has launched the Industrial Master Plan 2030, an ambitious set of policies aimed at boosting domestic production and establishing Malaysia as a global hub for semiconductor manufacturing. However, with great ambitions come significant risks. In the 1970s, Malaysia embarked on the new economic policy aiming to redistribute wealth and transition from exporting raw materials like rubber and tin. This led to significant industrialization, but the neglect of research and development and a brain drain hampered long-term growth. By the 1980s, Malaysia's economic growth slowed, and the Asian financial crisis of 1997 deepened the middle-income trap. However, Malaysia had a secret weapon, Penang. This coastal state was transformed into the Silicon Valley of the East over a 50-year period. Starting as a small fishing village, Penang attracted major tech companies like Bosch, Motorola, Dell, Intel, and Hewlett-Packard. By the 1990s, Penang had reinvented itself, contributing significantly to Malaysia's economy and global semiconductor exports. Today, Malaysia is getting a second chance at prosperity. The government is committing significant resources to revive its industrial sector with a focus on Penang. A 1 million square foot industrial park in Penang has attracted interest from companies like Jabil, Western Digital, and LAM Research. Germany's Infineon is investing in a new production site for silicon carbide chips, essential for electric vehicles. Malaysia's strategic ports, like Port Kleng, rank among the 15 largest global ports. These ports play a crucial role in Malaysia's plan to become an industrial hub where incoming chips can be built, tested, and shipped worldwide. However, Malaysia faces significant challenges, including a brain drain and a labor shortage. Neighboring Singapore poses a major challenge with its higher wages and stable political environment, attracting substantial investments from tech giants. In the first quarter of 2024, the number of Malaysians migrating to Singapore increased by 62% compared to the previous year. Political instability in Malaysia, with four different prime ministers in the last four years, also undermines cohesive policymaking. Thailand and Vietnam are also emerging as strong competitors. Thailand offers robust infrastructure, a skilled workforce and geopolitical neutrality, attracting companies like Sony. Vietnam, with its proximity to China's industrial zones and stable political situation, has seen major investments from Samsung to bolster semiconductor production. Despite these challenges, Malaysia still has strategic advantages. Cooperation with Singapore could lead to an industrial symbiosis, 
with Malaysian firms assembling, testing, and packaging chips designed and manufactured in Singapore. This approach could help Malaysia maintain regional dominance without sidelining its local firms. However, Malaysia must navigate complex geopolitical dynamics. The country relies heavily on trade with both China and the United States, its largest trade and investment partners. Washington has expressed concerns over Malaysia's cooperation with Chinese firms, and there are fears that sanctions could extend to Malaysia. Malaysia is at a crossroads. With strategic planning and careful navigation of geopolitical challenges, the country has the potential to become a global chip giant. The journey is fraught with risks, but the rewards could be transformative. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on technology and geopolitics.